guys, it's Sarah here from Oil Life. Um, today we are talking about travel essentials. So as you can see, I have my suitcase here uh, and I'm gonna help you pack your suitcase so that you can travel with your oils and uh, keep them safe, uh, won't damage them, uh, and show you some awesome supplies to make that happen. Um, so before we get started, I want to ask, um, have you ever taken your essential oils on the plane with you? Um, and if you have, tell us a little bit about your experience. Um, I do say please, you know, comment, like, and share our uh, video today because we are giving away a canvas clutch. Um, so it's this bag right here. It's perfect for travel. Um, we will let you choose your fabric um, and it fits your oils in here. Super simple, uh, keeps them safe. Really, really awesome for traveling. So uh, you will get a free canvas clutch. Uh, so please comment, like, share, uh, and our giveaway will be open for 24 hours and we'll pick our winner. So. Um, definitely do that. Uh, make sure you are using our hashtags for the summer, uh, summer of sharing and summer of success. Uh, and definitely tag us in your posts for a chance to be featured because we do feature some of our awesome uh, fans and oil users. So uh, today, as I said, we're talking about flying with your oils. So where have you taken your oils to? Um, obviously, a bunch of you have probably taken some pretty cool vacations. You know. Where, what countries have your oil seen? So tell us, where have you been with your oils? Uh, so first of all, let's get started. Uh, I have a bag here that would work for a carry-on. So uh, for your carry-on, there are some airline regulations. There's one called the 311 guideline, which is the liquids rule. So a bunch of you are probably familiar with this, uh, but basically it means that you have to fit um, the liquids that you bring into a quart-sized resealable bag. So, just like this. Um, you can carry 3.4 ounces of liquid or 100 milliliters or smaller sized containers. Uh, so basically, your oils are gonna fit just fine. Um, so as you can see, the bag is this big, your oils are this big, uh, so you can totally take your oils with you. Um, so your, bag, your oils must be in a resealable bag uh, to go in your carry-on and through checkpoint security. Um, so containers that are larger than our 3.4 ounce limit, uh, regardless of amount of liquid inside, must be checked uh, in your checked baggage. So uh, you're not going to be able to take any of those super big liquids in uh, your carry-on. Uh, so basically, the best way to go about it is you can pack your less frequently used uh, oils in dram bottles. So we've got this little guy right here, um, and we can fit these teeny little drams so you can take samples with you on the go. Uh, so this is a quarter drum, um, but we have ones that come in all different sizes. So uh, this little case is awesome to take your samples with you. Um, and you can also condense your shampoo, conditioner, lotion, um, everything you should condense into travel size bottles so that you can take them with you in your plastic bag. So that's the best way to go for sure. Um, we also recommend you pre-package your blends. Um, so that you do not have to carry around oils that you don't use as often on their own. So we have this little carrying case right here. It's awesome. It zips up. Um, but we put our roller bottles in here with some awesome blends. So if you can check it out right here and look at those cute vinyl stickers. So um, you can put them right in a carrying case like this, put them in your sealable plastic bag, and you are ready to go. So those are awesome. You put those right here. Um, Another idea that we have for you guys is to have a pre-prepared um, handkerchief. So we have a handkerchief right here. You can drop your oils right on it and you can take it with you. It'll already be ready to go. Um, you won't have to worry about spilling, you know, dropping your oils, anything like that. So you can take a handkerchief with you. Um, we also recommend taking um, bamboo wipes. So these are awesome. You can actually pre-prepare them by dropping your oils on there and take them with you on the go. Um, so you can pull some of these out, put them in a plastic bag, or take the whole thing. Both are great. Uh, we also have some awesome jewelry. Um, so if you'd like to wear your oils around your neck, we've got some. We've got a necklace right here, a terracotta necklace that you can drop your oils in. We have another one right here. It's wood. It's super, super cute. Um, so anyways, lots of options with jewelry. You can just drop your oils right in there, and you can carry your oils with you without having the bottles. So... Lots of awesome options. These are all available in our store and online. So check those out. Um, so I'll leave these right here. Um, so planes have been stopped before because of weird smells that have to get checked out. So make sure if you are taking your oils 
Uh, put them in a Ziploc, even if you're checking them. Make sure that they are contained, uh, just so that there's no problem. So, definitely we recommend take a plastic bag, um, seal them up. So, uh, checked bags. Let's talk about checked bags. Um, the best thing about checked bags is you can pack all the liquids you want in your checked bag. So, um, if you're interested in taking a bunch of your oils, uh, we have a bunch of different ways for you to do it. We can carry them in uh, different clutches or bags that we have available where you can carry all different sizes, things like that. Um, we also have some awesome foam holders where you can take multiple oils at one time. So uh, these come in all different sizes and you can actually put them you know, right on top of your um, clothes, you know, right wherever you need to in your suitcase, they'll fit and you can just close it up and it will protect them so that they don't you know, crack, you know, bump together, anything like that. So we definitely recommend you know, getting a foam holder or uh, using a travel case with separate spaces for each oil so that they can sit upright instead of um, in a plastic bag because they'll hit each other and possibly break. So we don't want that. Um, so as you can see, we've got tons of different options when it comes to traveling with oils. Um, so many different ways you can do it. Uh, we sell these all at Oil Life, so definitely come check it out. Um, and you can travel with your oils and keep them with you at all times if you are wanting to take them to other places. So it's awesome. Um, last question I have for you is, um, do you have any oil travel tips to share with us? Any other tips that we didn't mention here that you think are great for traveling with your oils, taking them across the country, taking them out of your country, anything like that? Please let us know what advice you have. We'd love to hear it. Um, and what oils do you keep with you at all times? If you had to take, you know, one of these bags, you know, which oils would you take with you? Um, so those are the questions we have for you today. Uh, make sure you are commenting, liking, sharing our posts so that we can pick our winner. Um, and if you have any questions about our products or anything like that, please leave it in the comments below and we'd be happy to answer those. Uh, before I go, I want to mention on July 27th, we have our ice cream social, so make sure you are um, RSVP for that and make sure you come and follow along. Uh, it's going to be super awesome. Uh, but that's all we have for today. So we will see you later. Thanks so much. Have a good day.